Hey guys, this is Rene. Welcome back for another strategy review. And in this video, we will have a look at one of the probably one of the oldest, most fundamental strategies that you will see when it comes to short term trading. And the strategy I want to talk about in this video is the turnaround Tuesday strategy. And what is this strategy about? I will show you how it looks exactly in the visual mode. But first of all, I want to give you the overall um, look so you can decide if this is something you want to try out. This is a backtest starting from 2015 to um, yeah, the end of 2023, tested on 100% high quality tick data. And the strategy is a really simple strategy that works following a fundamental concept. And the idea is to trade big indices. In this specific case, we are trading the German 40 index. You cannot really see it here, but I will show it to you in a second. This is the German 40 index or DE40, whatever your broker chose as a name for this symbol. And it is the German stock market index. And the idea is that um, this index, of course, follows the like overall economic development. And um, we are trading from Monday to Tuesday. And we do not really trade the Monday, but we just buy at the end of Monday. So very late in the evening, we buy. And then in the, in the evening of Tuesday, we sell this position again. This is the only trade that we take during a week. And also there is a moving average filter that greatly increases the profitability. And the profitability is really, really crazy. We will see this in a second. But let's talk about the idea of this strategy some more. Because we are trading pretty much at the beginning of a week and it is called Turnaround Tuesday. And the, the idea is that uh, on weekends where we cannot really trade, we usually have a lot of news or events happening that might impact the markets. So of course, we do not really want to hold a position over the weekend because we have this incredible risk of huge gaps when the market opens on a Monday. And then on a Monday, what you typically see or what you often see is that the market drops a bit because of all of these news that happen during the weekend. And then at the end of Monday, when this drop already happened, then we will buy the market. Because the idea of the turnaround Tuesday is that on Tuesday, we will see some kind of a rebound or recovery um, movement. And that's why we hold the position from the evening of Monday until the evening of Tuesday to have this whole Tuesday movement. And also a lot of the profits in big major futures markets or indices are made during the night. So this is why we buy the position at the end of Monday and not just in the beginning of or in the morning of the Tuesday. And yes, of course, we will pay the swap costs, but this is all included in this backtesting result. And you can see over the last um, yeah, eight or nine years where I tested this strategy now, the results would have been incredibly good. There are no real major drawdowns here with the settings that I chose, and I will show it to you in a second. And the profit factor is over 1.5, so it's just crazily profitable. Also, we can see there are not too many trades, of course. This is mainly because of the moving average filter, which is a really simple filter, and I will explain this in a second. And then, of course, we see the entries by hours. It's just in the evening every time and then the profits and losses by hours is usually also in the in the evening because then the position is closed at a fixed time the entries are always on monday and the profits and losses here are on wednesday so actually i think i forgot to change the closing date because this is something else that i was testing i was also testing what happens if you hold the position from monday to wednesday so actually the test that you just saw which is also crazy crazily profitable was not really the strategy that I was about to explain. So I was just uh, thinking about if I should restart the video and cut out this whole part, but I decided to leave it in and maybe start the same test again 
with just um, from Monday to Tuesday. So you also have a nice um, and quick comparison here. So I will quickly run this backtest in fast forward mode. Then we can have a look at the reset. What really happens if we trade this turnaround Tuesday like it was um, invented in the first place from Monday to Tuesday. And then we talk about the actual strategy and I will explain exactly how you can trade this on your own PC in your own account. So yeah, here you can see now also the second uh, backtest is um, almost finished. And this was now the like original strategy that I announced in the beginning. It's like trading from Monday evening to Tuesday evening. But I think in the end, it comes down to like personal preference. If you think you want to stick to the original strategy trading from Monday to Tuesday, or if you want to change it a bit, maybe trade from Monday to Wednesday, uh, you can see the, the different is a bit, um, the, the result is a bit different. And if we have a look at the key figures, like for the original strategy we can see the profit factor is actually a bit lower but still you of course have the risk um, of holding the trade for another day over another night which might result into uh, into gaps so you have to decide if you if you think this risk is worth it also if i would change the settings just a little bit and we will have a look at the settings in a, in, in a second it could of course uh, change the outcome again like then the Monday to Tuesday version could be better than the or compared to the Monday to Wednesday version but I do not want to get into the process of over optimizing too much here so bottom line is uh, what I want to say in this video is this strategy this um, turnaround Tuesday strategy which is around for so so long for multiple multiple years it is around for a reason it definitely has some um yeah, some, some characteristics that make it profitable or that made it profitable at least for the last eight or nine years. This is what we can see here um, pretty clearly in the backtest. And um, this is definitely not like some over-optimized cheesy backtest. And I will show you uh, the, the tests in a second that I did. But first of all, let's talk about the inputs. And um, before we talk about the inputs, also I want to announce that Directly after finishing this video, I will record another video and it will be the programming tutorial for this specific strategy. And you should make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out this one. Also, don't be afraid um, because you don't have programming knowledge, for example. You don't need it. This strategy is super simple and it's so easy that everyone can pick this up. But let's have a look at the settings. First of all, we do have a time frame setting, but this doesn't really have an influence or impact on the strategy. It just says um, that I want to process everything only once per bar. We will see this in the programming tutorial. And then risk percent is 100. What does this mean? It means that I want to open the position with a position size that if this specific index market, like the DE40 in this case, if it would drop to zero, then all of my money would have been gone. So this is why I take a risk of 100%, but still I do have a stop loss and this is 5% of the current price of this index. Then we open the position at 20, um, 22.55 and close it at 22.55. We open at the Monday, close at the Tuesday, pretty self-explaining. We will also see this in a second in the visual mode. Then for the indicator settings, I go with this moving average filter and we do have a daily period here or time frame for the moving average and it's 20 days. Just a simple moving average based on the close prices. So how does this look? Let's go to the visual mode and maybe let's just test for the last year so the test will load a little bit longer, uh, faster. So you can see turnaround Tuesday strategy, DE40, tick data suit, data, let's go. And then we will clearly see how this strategy works. So you can then adapt this or take this and, and, and trade it in your own account. And also make sure to follow the next video to learn how to write this as a programming or expert advisor for the meter trader so you don't have to do it by hand. But yeah, here we can see f uh, 2nd January 2023. And if I go to my calendar here and go to the January 2023, uh, 2023 we should see the second is a Monday so in the evening we can see this in the history also 2020 55 like um, very late in the evening we open a position and then if I now fast forward we can just see that this position will be closed the next day we can also see it here in the results just 
will be closed by time and this will generate a beautiful profit. Also, we should see, if we have a look at this moving average, we want to trade only when the price is below the moving average. This is also something that makes the uh, that increases the profitability of the strategy. And the idea is that if we are below the moving average, uh, average, it means that like the overall price of this index is going down for a while. So there are some negative, some bad news around for a while. So we have a chance on this turnaround Tuesday to really recover from these news events. So let's fast forward a bit in the daily chart and you can see here we are do not trade when we are above this um, moving average. A little side note here, of course, I also tested this and you can also trade when you are above the moving average. So you do not have to use this filter. But in this video, I want to explain the original strategy. But you can see there are different variations and you can play around with this a lot. So once you have the source code, make sure to do this. Uh, and yeah, yeah, here you can see again, there was a Tuesday, there's another Tuesday. Now we are below this moving average and you can see we are doing a lot of trades now. And yeah, we only do these trades when we are below the moving average. And this is pretty much the whole strategy. This is the turnaround Tuesday strategy. As I said, it is really the most basic, most simple strategy that you could imagine, but it is super, super profitable. And as you can see in all of these tests that I did, which is again on high quality data, we also have the swap costs. So you can see this is, um, yeah, all... Like there's no, no cheating here. We do have the swap cost, like everything is real. And it would have turned out somehow like this also in a live account. Of course, there are always um, some, there's also some deviation if you have a look at the live trading results, but this would have been profitable in the last few years. And this is why I wanted to share this strategy with you. And yeah, hope you like it. Let me know what you think in the comments and make sure to subscribe to learn more about the strategy. Oh, also one last thing I want to show you is here on my server, you can see um, on the server, I call it the strategy go long test. It's yeah, just the name for my program, but it is the same strategy. And you can see I did some optimization runs and um, like I did one, two optimizations. So as I said, I didn't do too many optimizations. I didn't want to op over optimize it. If you do some more optimizations, you will find you will definitely find better tests also with a better profit factor on everything. But here you can see I just tested different tests. Here, for example, I use no stop loss at all, which also increases the profitability. And um, yeah, you can see most of these tests were actually profitable. So there is definitely something um, in this strategy that makes it profitable and it is definitely worth having a look. So um with that said, um, oh yeah, also here in this um, in this test, I used a stop loss of five percent of this uh, specific. Uh, wait, where's the stop loss? It's not here, but yeah, you can see here. Like for this test, I used a stop loss of five percent. I explained this uh, of the actual index price, and this is also what we can see here in the history. So we do have a worst case stop loss, but so, but of course, in most um, days during most days. Um, the index will not lose 5% or drop 5% in value. So that's the Turnaround Tuesday strategy. Make sure to watch the next video for the programming part. And yeah, I hope you like it. Let me know in the comments what you think about it. And I'll see you next time. Have a great time. Good trades. Bye.